$14.95, I believe, and I believe with tax and everything in Georgia and Atlanta, it runs up to about $1,600. <sighs> y'all, when I tell y'all, I was like, I don't want to pay that much for these boots. They're just leather boots that I don't feel that I should have to pay that much for. Like, it's crazy. But thank you to my man. <laughs> he bought them for me, you know. <laughs> But yes, you guys, so I'm going to show y'all these boots. Now, I was searching all over YouTube, the internet, to see if I could find um, these boots, like try to get them cheaper, and also to find like what is the right size that I should get because, you know, I want to know because I want to have to go back and try it on again, get another size. I like doing all that. I like to know my size once I get there and I'm good. But of course, as I said before, they were new. I did not know that they were new. So yeah. So I went ahead and I decided to do a review video for these boots because I didn't see no one else do a review on these boots. So uh, let me go ahead and be first. So I got mine from Neiman Marcus. Thank you so much to James. He is such a great um, special advisor in Neiman Marcus in Atlanta. Definitely go to him. He's so sweet, so, so sweet. Um, okay, so of course it came in this big old box. Big old box. I got a size 38, an eight that is my usual size. I wear between about seven and a half to eight. Um, with Christian Louboutins, I typically do wear between, a 38 can sometimes be too big for me depending upon the shoe. But um, in most cases, I wear an eight, 38. The reason why I love um, not just Christian Louboutin shoes, but also just European sizes is because European shoes tend to be made for slim feet. And my foot is, is pretty it's like slim and like skinny versus people who have wide feet. I know they tend to have to size up, but for people who wear slim, have slim feet, they don't really have to size up or anything. It's typically their size is their size. But yeah, we get into the boot. Really, really want this boot was because 
I saw that uh, Young Miami from the City Girls, she had on these red bottom boots. And I'm like, you know, those boots are super cute. Like, I love the style. I love the way they looked. It wasn't even about necessarily her wearing it. It was just more so the boot because it just looked so simple, sleek, but yet so sexy, so cute. I was like, oh my God, I need that boot. What is that boot? I ended up finding the boot and finding out that this was the boot that she had on. The reason why I love this boot so much is because of the fact that it's straight to the point. It's, it's very slim. And I know that other boots, they tend to have like those cuts and those curves or sometimes some boot leather boots, they'll have the, the like, I guess like a stiletto type of shoe and you can see the outline. I just don't like those kind of boots at all. I want it to be simple and straight to the point like how this boot is. It's just a straight, beautiful scene, all smooth. No, none of that. Y'all, this boot is so freaking Ah, yes, I'm so happy to have this boot. Now, like I said, um, I got a 38. 38, of course, is my normal size. This is what the boot looks like on the inside. I love the stitching right here, too. I just, I don't know. I think, I guess this is made for people who have uh, bigger calf muscles for you to be able to stretch your uh, your leg, your calf muscle. So if you um, have a bigger calf muscle, I believe that's, that's what that is for. But um, yes, so me, I don't plan on wearing socks like that unless they're very, very thin socks with my shoes. I typically prefer really not to. I maybe put like just a little bit of powder um, in it just to purport, pre um, prevent sweating. But you guys, like this boot, now we all know with Christian Louboutins that they always tell you if it's tight, but not like super tight, then it's the right it's the right shoe because your foot is going to naturally grow into the boot, which they say is very very common. So, <clears throat> I mean, not the boot, the shoe, but y'all look at this shoe. Y'all see how sexy this is? You see what I'm talking about? Like, look at this. It's so freaking sleek, y'all. Look at this. Look at this boot. Oh my God, it's so freaking. It's giving the outfit a fit now. Baby, what has given a fit? Not really, but it's kind of giving a fit. It's cute. Baby, she cute. And I love how, like, it doesn't really have... It's just so smooth and shiny. Oh, my God. This boot is adorable. How can you not like this boot? How? Baby, yes. Hello. Bam, bam. But yes, you guys, um, I have so many outfits planned with this boot, because baby, this $1,600 boot will get this worthwhile. I know that for sure. Okay, so um, other than that, you guys, I really want to just get straight to the point and show y'all the boot. It is so freaking cute to me. I know everyone's perfect. <laughs> yes, as y'all can see, this boot is just so sexy. Like, look at her. And I love me a pointed toe boot. Oh, I really wanted the pointed toe. I think that's what really got me was the pointed toe. It is so freaking adorable. I do wish this was kind of a little bit more um, smaller for me, but I mean, it still looked good though. Like the calf part, because I have small calves, but it still looks good. But y'all, very, very cute boot. Definitely recommend for my girls who don't really have a budget, they just go out and spend however they please get the boot it's so cute get the boot
But yes, I do recommend um, using the size guide on Christian Lucas' site to help you kind of determine the perfect shoe size that you need. If you do have a wide foot, I probably would recommend that you just go up half a size just so you can be on the good, I mean, on the safe side. Because Christian Louboutin shoes can be really weird with sizing, but that boot does run true size. For me, especially for people who have slow feet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, you guys, definitely please like, comment, and subscribe. Show my channel some love. If you love the boot, honey, let me know. And yeah, see y'all next time. Oh.